Hey everybody, it's Pumpkin. We're finally getting around to framing Alice. Yeah, it's about time. Anyway, I think it turned out great. Check it out. I hope you like it. Maybe it gives you some ideas. And, you know, framing. Yeah, okay. All right. Well, hello everybody. It is a little after two on Saturday and I have read some of the instructions for the mat cutter. I took a look at this. It was the frame that we bought for Alice. I have defuzzed and de whatever prepared Alice for framing and I have discovered that this mat that came with this is not going to work the holes that are cut out on it are too wide for Alice. So I have a couple options. I can either cut the mat as wide as possible and try and put another mat under it to fill in space or scrap this mat and just go with something completely different. So. I think because of the direction that Alice has to go and the direction of the mat, I'm going to scrap the mat. So let me take this all out, put it aside, and we'll go from there and try and figure out what's going to happen next. Crap tweezers. That's what these are good for is pulling out the pins. So we'll do that. Mm -hmm. mat this is like a sticker over the top so with that hmm. <laughs> well, well actually I take that back it is two mats but I don't know that I'd be able to get them apart without completely destroying them so we'll just save this for something else and let's see what can we possibly use What can we use? Let me come back to it. I'm going to do some exploring through my junk. My hoard. Sorry. Here's what I came up with. This is just the back side of the frame, the picture. The black side is what they had for the back. I very carefully peeled off all of the stickers, price tags, all of that. And so I'm going to use this as my mat. Just flip it around so that I've got the black side. Because this is just like a cardboard color. Ugly. Okay. So this is now becoming my mat. 
And of course my frame is upside down, so I'm gonna put this all together and then just flip it over into the frame, so. When you're purchasing pictures, check to see if the back is a solid color you can use. All right, now, got Alice. And I want some sort of transition between the edge of the painting and my black mat, okay? Now, because this is just an ugly cardboard, I can't just use the mat cutter because normally it has like a nice white um, inside of it so that when you cut it, example when you cut it that white shows through okay but this is just cardboard so it's not gonna look nice all right that's normally a good transition you'd put that over the top of your painting well my paintings go over the top of the mat so I still want to transition I don't want to just stick it down with a cut off and it's just an abrupt line. Try and make it look a little like something. So what I came up with is ribbon. And I just had this left over from my stash of stuff that was my mom's. I don't know what her project was. Or this might have been left over from my wedding. I don't know, because we had, this was the accent color from our wedding. I'm going to use this to transition from my painting down to my black mat, which means I need to cut this away. I need to get rid of some of this. Now, I don't want to cut it completely off because then I don't have anything to stick my ribbon to. Okay. A lot of paintings, the glue comes just a little tiny bit over and we cover it with washi tape. And I didn't remove my glue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cut right along just a little bit smaller than the width of my ribbon thinking then that, again, this is double thickness, but my ribbon will be my transition. Come on, you fold this a little bit so you can kind of get an idea. I think I just knocked some, no, I didn't. I thought I knocked diamonds off, but I didn't. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. Alright, and then... Come on. Behave yourself. And then my ribbon. I'm trying to get the... Which side's the shiny side? This way. Hopefully because it's not going to be double thickness. That will be a decent transition from one to the other. But of course, I'm monkeying with it because it's double thick. And So I want to cut my canvas a little bit smaller, like half the width of my ribbon, so that I can then, if I wanted to, um, probably spray adhesive on here and then the ribbon. So I'll have to use something to get it so that I don't have overspray. So let's start by cutting this. And as always, I have my, uh, my special scissors for crappy jobs, tape and cardboard, so I don't wreck my good scissors. My ribbon is... Creates ribbon, so I'm gonna cut a 
three sixteenths, I guess. Attempt to. So let's see her. There. Come on. few here and there and then I'll draw a straight line okay. now you're not gonna be able to see because it's on the other side of the wheel wheel but sorry you can see that line that I'm going to cut along and I'll just go ahead and do it the way around I guess. bad with just the white not bad at all you'd have to cut just a little bit better to avoid you know the um the key and everything so again suggestion diamond art club move your key just a tiny little bit further over to give us just a little more room that'd be great like a good quarter of an inch away from the picture would be awesome but I did three eighths and it was just right through there so I had to move it or did three sixteenths so yeah but it was close so this would actually even work um, showing the sparkly canvas on the edge not bad I could do that but that's not that's not why we're here today And again, I've got wrinkly um, ribbon. I do have some brand new stuff in there that's not been wide in a ball. Probably try that too instead. But just enough glue on there that overran, you know what I mean? The diamonds, glue field, the diamond field. Just a little tiny bit. To hold the ribbon in place and of course you could also add to it with your own adhesive but I just want to see what it's going to look like so yeah that's not too bad and then this way On the good side of this one. <clears throat> and the glue. I don't even have glue over shot on this side, so I'll have to use something. Whether it's spray adhesive or glue gun or whatever. 
I know everybody keeps yelling at me to use a glue gun. They scare me and they end up lumpy because I I suck at them. I'm no good at it. All right. I think this is going to be good. I'm kind of liking it. I'm gonna cut these off, but I just kind of wanted an idea of what it was gonna look like. Yeah, that'll work. And then it transitions from your canvas down. So you could just take cardboard or whatever. I know some people are saying be careful of the acidity and all that. Whatever you use, whatever color you want. So I'll finish it. Whatever. So, um, yeah, I think I'll monkey with this a little bit, figure out exactly how I'm going to do it, and then I'll show you what I came up with. Because, yeah, enough with the train wreck tutorials. Get your act together, woman. All right, we're not going to be using this, so I'm going to get it off the table and out of the way. And this is the, the mat cutter. Good idea, but. Not for today. Oop. All right, and I messed around with it a little bit. And here's what I've come up with. I've centered it now on the backboard. It's exactly centered, but it's not glued down or anything. So what I want to do now is, are you seeing yeah, you are. I am so sorry. Hold on, let me get rid of that. Yeah, I, again, new equipment. Sorry. Okay. Um, I've got it centered on here, and now I want to tack it down. I'm not really worried about the frame, because this thing is just a tiny bit, you know. So I've got it centered. Let's figure out how I want to secure the painting to that. I tend to go spray adhesive. I like it. Everybody keeps telling me to use glue gun. That scares me. Plus, it takes a long time to heat up. Ah. So, but the spray adhesive, yeah, it's a lot of jerking around with it. We're going to go with a little double-sided tape to hold it in place on one side. Well, actually, first. First, I'm going to draw a line because it's going to get covered by the ribbon. So that's the first step. I'm going to draw a line of where it's getting fastened down. And then we'll move from there. So backing up. Sorry. Okay. Now, I don't know if this is going to show on here. Not really. Let me grab a pencil. That's how they show up better. Much better, okay. So I'm just tracing my mat, oh, not my mat, my canvas. Doesn't need to be beautiful, it's getting covered. I just don't want it to shift on me because it's so precisely measured. See, I just did it myself. All right, let's see here. There we go. All right. Shifted it again. 
Yeah, could have put a little double-sided tape in the corners. Keep it still so I could trace it, but no. No. done that first, right? Yep. Alright, and I just want one side down because I am gonna... I like to use spray adhesive. Sorry. I don't want to get it on here though. So I want to cover that with something else. So I'm gonna lay down um something to keep it from overspraying and I'm going to get the frame out of here too because I don't want to take a chance with that so let me get that set up all right I've got just packing paper from the diamond art club boxes covering my table and then what I'm planning on doing I'm going to pull this back all right And just going to fold it right up to that line I drew. Just a tiny bit away from the line. Teeny tiny bit. So that I have a little bit of spray adhesive to help hold the ribbon down on this part. Now, if I wanted to, I could tape my paper down too. Keep it from moving. Probably not a bad idea. All I got left is that jot stuff. Okay. So let's see here. And I grabbed a fresh um, skein, I guess, what is yards, whatever. But I'm going to use the junky stuff for testing. So I just want to make sure now that where I put this is going to cover that I didn't miscalculate and it does we're good okay so i'm on track here everybody's making all kinds of noise oh my goodness and here's the not so good tape Well, it's there, kids. Just 
try to hurry because they're making me anxious with all the noise that we make. Sorry. We're life in here. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. So I've protected all of my area and a little bit past where the painting is going to go to help hold down the ribbon. So I'll bring you in a little closer just so you can see that part. All right. okay, I've taped it off except for just a tiny little bit. And then what I'm going to do now is pull this back, spray all of that, put down one side and lift up the other side, spray, put it down, and I've got my pencil line drawn to line me up. So that's the plan. Now, nothing goes according to plan around here, so let's see how this goes. I'll get you set back up. All right, windows are open, ventilated. I'm doing the best I can here, kids. Okay, um, I'm switching brands. I'm gonna try the Loctite this time. Never used it, let's see how it goes. So again, I tape down one side with the double-sided tape. I'm gonna flip it back, do one side, flip the other side. I think I taped this side. You said they had just to try and avoid all that mess of pulling it up and moving it around and all that. It's worth a shot. Okay. Sorry. And I want to make sure I fold it all the way so that and if I do overspray, I'm not spraying all over my diamonds. Hold on to your butts, kids. Oh yeah, this doesn't, oh yeah, this does. I was gonna say, I was thinking it didn't, I was thinking it didn't have those spider webby things that the other stuff does. I don't think I like that. I'm supposed to take this up, oops, sorry, take it outside, upside down until it cleans out the nozzle. We're gonna have to do it later, I guess. Um.
and low tack double sided tape so I'm not wrecking my nap. Carried away on that side, I knew it. I knew it. Getting the general length. time deciding which side's a good side. You should be able to feel it. I gotta attend to a couple things and we'll come back and see what we're gonna do with the edges. But in theory, it's all on there now. So I'm gonna brainstorm on this. I got some laundry, I got the dog, I got the thunder, I need the thunder shirt, I got I got the stuff to do. So I'll be back in a flash. Alright, here's what I come in. Alright, here's what I came up with. Here's my corner that I did. Oop. Sorry. Okay. Jeez. Okay. Here's the corner that I came up with. It's not quite dry. All right. Hopefully that's going to dry and not look wet. We'll, we'll adjust. 
this is what I did. We'll do this corner down here next. So with it, and this is, you know, it's pretty much in place, of course, except for this little bit. I'm going to zoom you in so you can kind of see what I'm doing. All right. I'm mitering my corner by using scissors. So very sharp scissors. I don't want it sliding around. And what I'm doing, I'm just going to pull that back a little bit so that I can get my scissors all the way under there. And I'm going to just go on the diagonal from this corner to that corner. Now, I used bigger scissors the first time. These are so small, I'm having issues. But let me see here. I kind of want to try and get it in one swoop. Now that I have an issue. My sewing scissors aren't sharp enough. Well, I sh okay, back to these. All right. Get it up here. And actually, let me do it this way so I can lay it flat. There we go. All right, trying to get a nice clean cut. There, pull the extras out, there we go. Yeah, I kind of jacked that up. That didn't turn out like it was supposed to at all. Okay. There we go. I can make that work. I can get it together. Otherwise, because I did the diagonal, I can shift my entire ribbon down if I needed to. And I might. I think I will. Let me back you out. Sorry for the wobbling. I just stretched it a little bit. And then what I used for the glue was the um, Tombow. I hadn't tried it before. So, I'm again, I'm hoping that that's not going to dry dark like that, but maybe I just used a little too much. I had used the applicator pen part, but I think I'm going to put it on a Q-tip so I don't get it sopping wet this time. Get you back in there. putting a glue on there so that it doesn't fray. Yeah, it still looks wet, but I did find that the spray adhesive, any overspray, just rubs off like rubber. I'm a little concerned about the Tombow. I hope that doesn't dry looking like that. Now, when I laid my ribbon, I ran it slightly up the side of the diamonds so that you don't see the white canvas in between. And I'll show you over here what I'm talking about. in that bottom corner there right in there so I ran it up the side of the diamonds to keep it from showing that white canvas behind there so we'll do this corner now let me get you set up
be very careful that you don't pull on those ends or you'll make it all fray. And if I had enough spray adhesive in that corner, it should be just fine without having to add any tempo to it. I think we're okay. Yep. Welcome to Squirrel Theater. Yes, I live near the airport. <laughs> it's just a little too much stimulation going on here. Okay. Yeah, I'm scared about the tumble. If I could do it this way, I would prefer that. Yeah, I'm gonna move this around so we can do the fourth corner. you out again. I'm going to clean up this mess and then we'll put it in the frame. I had to clean the glass on that and everything. So again, please put your trays in the upright position. We're about to come in for a landing. All right. I cleaned the inside. We'll clean the outside in a little bit. Make sure when you put it in that you got your head top of your painting in the right spot. couple so I can check for center and make sure it looks okay. Yep, looks good. There you go. Nobody's gonna notice a millimeter. I hope you've enjoyed your flight with us today. Please keep us in mind for your next business or pleasure trip. Thank you. All right, there it is. It's, uh, it looks pretty good. I'm gonna hang it up so you guys can step back and look at it. All okay, right, hold on. All right, it's extremely difficult to record something under glass without all the reflection but I think it turned out pretty nice I mean it's it's a cheap solution if the frame that you buy the backboard is a solid color that you could use um, 
The ribbon is like really cheap and I used 3 8 inch ribbon and I just picked a coordinating color that I happen to have in my hoard <laughs> because it was that or purple or really wide red that I used on that one. Okay. But um, yeah, my only worry here, and excuse the camera hand, the Tombow, wet looking versus just that one I just spray adhesive stuck it down but um, yeah I think that that looks pretty darn good so a couple couple suggestions for Diamond Art Club give us a good quarter inch of clean white space around our paintings before the key or any printing that makes it easier for us to not have to worry about, you know, let's say I wanted to use a white ribbon or a pink and the print showed through. So that would help. Um, and I don't know, I didn't do the hot glue gun. I, I have no luck with that thing. I either burn myself or I get globs and snotty things. And I like the spray adhesive. And of course, it, you know, ideally you're going to do it outside, but um, you know, I got the windows open so you can hear all the airplanes coming and going. But I think I think it turned out pretty good. This is meant to go in the bathroom. So I gotta get that hung up and I'm very happy. I bought that frame in November. <laughs> so it's seven months later, finally got it framed. And the frame is not at all what I had anticipated with you know, using that map, but, um, I did frame all of the other ones that I, well, not all, I framed three of five that we bought the frames for at Michael's last time. So let me get you set up and I'll show you those. I didn't do a framing video. There was nothing special about the framing. It fit right in there. Um, that's the ever moment hummingbird. Beautiful. Just plain black frame. And like I said, it fit perfectly. Um, and then the Ever Moment piano, same deal, fit perfectly in that frame. And then lastly, um, this one, a little bit of monkeying, uh, Cinderella. Again, sorry for the reflection. We'll, we'll go over there. All right. So with her, she didn't fit exactly. It was pretty darn close. But I had uh, got a reflection right in here. Let me show you from down here instead. It's easier. I had a tiny bit of a gap on the top and the bottom. My sides were almost perfect. And yeah, I just need to cover that with a Sharpie. So my sides fit perfectly. Nearly. I mean, it was really close. I had to be so precise to get it in there without seeing anything. But again, the canvas was a little teeny tiny, like three rows of diamonds short on either end. Um, and if, you know, hey, if I had spare drills, I could fake it. But, um, I didn't have anything on hand, no black ribbon, that blue was way too blue. I didn't have anything really great, so all I did was took some charcoal gray duct tape and duct taped around it, but the duct tape has a white inside, so you can see it. It doesn't look great, but I just wanted to get it framed. And, um, you know, off the off the rack so I think it turned out very very nice I'll probably redo something with the um, framing on that I probably have enough leftover drills I could actually just put some some more drills down and fill it in a little bit more but uh, yeah so 
again, I didn't do any framing videos for those because there was really no technique involved other than cutting a little duct tape. <laughs> but yeah, I think they're all gorgeous. And I am trying to figure out how I'm going to do this because those frames don't match. But yeah, they'll probably get relocated somewhere else. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But I just want to get them up off the floor. All right. And um, we'll, we'll do whips and stuff later on. Give me something else to talk about later on this week. Making lots of progress. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this. I don't know if it was at all helpful, but Naughty Alice is finally ready to be hung up. And I, I personally think it looks great. I love the frame. I think it's very pretty. There's better choices for her, sure, but hey. When you got a coupon, you got a coupon. Okay. All right, bye guys. You know I couldn't leave without having to come back because that's what I always do. Just a, a little tip in case you are like me and you never even thought of this. Um, you know, I had that um, invisible glass spray that I love for cleaning glass and I'm out. So I've been using Windex and you know, go ahead and use paper towels or whatever for the first time around. These are for, you know, glasses. This works fantastic for getting like beautiful, beautiful, uh, clean glass on your frames. So this is a little chamois for your glasses. All right. That's it. See you guys. I don't know what I was going to say there. Bet you thought I was going to say something. I thought I was too, but I didn't. So, full new. So, what'd you think of that? Looks good, huh? Yeah. Well, um, again, if uh, if you liked it, thumbs up and leave a comment. We love comments. And if you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Yeah, that helps us too. And um, see you in the next one. Okay, guys. Have a happy 4th of July. Yeah.